right, so we've installed a couple things. We've got a package manager. We've got a we've got a desktop that seems to work on a little computer that that yeah, seems to work okay. Has its limitations, but uh, how about doing other things? How about something something cool? For example, how about a USB microscope? Can this can this little twenty dollar board? eighteen fifteen dollars whatever it happens to be can that can that power a small USB microscope and if so maybe we'll have a look at that SD card uh, this little this little fake job right here and get a little closer and compare it to a legit card and, and uh, see what we get all right first things first let's see I'm gonna set this camera up where you guys can see a little bit here. Well, it ain't gonna work. Let's just do this first. All right. First things first. I'm going to plug in the microscope onto directly onto one of the USB 2.0 terminals, not in the hub. Well, let's go over here. I already looked, and this does not have any kind of uh, video capturing or anything like that. So let's go back here to Synaptic and let's see what we can find for camera see if we can find like quick cam or something like that Steel camera, Digicam. See if we can find something that uh, G Photo Image Viewer, GT Cam. Jeez. Here we go. G should work. So let's apply that. So far, even with the limitations of the board, I've quite, been quite pleased with it. Um, Seems to be pretty solid. I will really be shocked if this works, <laughs> to be honest with you. Don't expect it to work. But uh, we'll see. If that's the case, then uh, can make up a nice little, uh, little rig out of this thing. Now these little USB microscopes typically um, they are not extremely high resolution. Uh, it's not like it's running HD video or anything, and usually they don't need to because uh, they're in such a small area. Okay. No. And she do the 
graphics. No. Multimedia. There it is. Cheese. And guess what? We have an image. I'll be danged. So it works. Alright, so let's take this video card here. And this is or not video card, the SD card. Okay, so here's the SD card. Okay, video's upside down. How about doing it this way? There we go. Alright, here we go. Okay, so here is the suspected fake sand disk. Card. Class ten. So nothing telling on the front. Let's go to the back here. Okay, so this says made in Taiwan. It looks like there's some numbers that's covered up right there by this this uh, crappy quality sticker. Yeah. Okay, now we just pull this sticker off here. We'll just peel this little guy off right here. Let's see what's behind this sticker. Well, looks like there's quite a bit of writing in behind this sticker. Okay, so let's do this. Now this is true SanDisk SD card. This came from, I uh, bought it at Office Max. And it is an Ultra Plus. Okay, and you can see it's a high speed. This is the suspected bad one. And this is the legit one. Okay, on the back, there's a considerable difference between the markings on the back from the suspected fraud and the legit one. So let's look at it, look at them up close here. Okay, so this is the legit card. Let's look at these markings down here. don't really see much difference here other than there's this I don't remember seeing an eye oh yeah there is okay so that has the same HC so it looks like everything's pretty much about the same here okay on the back side this is what we have here BM made in China. So the other one said made in Taiwan. This one's made in China. And there are no other 
numbers, markings, or anything anywhere else on the card. And they're not hidden behind a sticker. Nothing. There seems to be nothing on there. And even looking at this one, which is a Lexar, 16 gig Lexar, and this is a class 10 card. Uh, it's an HC. Now it has, now this one's made in Taiwan. Okay. So this Lexar, made in Taiwan, and it has. Quite a bit of writing on it. 16 GB PHT made in Taiwan. Okay. Now, if we put the suspected counterfeit card next to it, okay. This one I'm not really telling too much of a difference. You know, if this was made in Taiwan, the other one's made in Taiwan, if they were possibly in the same factory. Um, but you can see how this made in Taiwan is basically double lines. You can see like in the A where there is black here, here's some black, here's some black. So it's almost like a, you know, the, the, the press um, put in, you know, two different, two different layers of like uh, the, the dye ink. Um, and in the other one, the suspected for fraud, uh, it's it doesn't have anything like that uh, almost all the letters are solid there's no die print it's almost as if it was just silk screened on uh, there's no stamping um, or anything like that like if you rub this hard enough you could probably pull this right off whereas this one um, looks like you know and it could very it could still still be uh, silk screened but uh, I don't know it just doesn't look quite like it it looks almost like it used to die but I have to say that I'm quite impressed Let me pull this off quite impressed let's see if that makes it a little bit clearer a little bit better. There we go. I'm quite impressed. Uh, this little uh, this little orange pie runs this camera just fine. Uh, very, very impressed. So that's good because that means that uh, means it can do way more than just. Uh, a few little play a few games or uh, you know do some boring stuff so good well that's it for this video I uh, just wanted to try out something new and like I said uh, it's running this little camera right here and it's running it just fine running off of a USB and you know it's doing what it's supposed to matter of fact the snap button seems to work kinda Maybe not. <laughs> but in any case, uh, if I do like this, what happens? Well, it picks up the screen. See the individual pixels in the screen. <laughs> anyway, uh, just a just a kind of an idea of what could be done. Um, and let's see if maybe we can build something out of this. Well, anyway, that's it for now. Just wanted to share that. Just to fuel some. Uh, 
fuels the fuel the imagination and see if anybody can come up with some cool ideas too. Well, anyway, that's it for me. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down and tell me why. Uh, sub please subscribe to my channel. And, uh, you know, if any comments, please make them. Ask questions, whatever you want to do. I'll get to them uh, whenever I can. Uh, anyway, see you next time, and everyone, take care.